with the release of Sword and Shield on the 15th of November, I've jumped onto my sketch pad, put together three new designs for you to represent your Team Starter, Team Skull Bunny, Rookie Gang, or Team Sobel. Hop over to the Teespring store now. You can grab a 10% discount with the discount code STARTER. Hi friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we're going to be finishing up with this Radon team that we started off with at the beginning of the week. As always, the team is down in the description below. There is a Roll Paste and a Poker Paste. And if you'd like to try it out, if you do try it out, let me know in the description. Let me know what your thoughts are on this call. It's a, it's a call that I have a lot of time for, and I've had a lot of fun playing it this week. And um, hopefully we can give it a good send-off today. So so, without further ado, let's jump in to uh, uh, onto the ladder and see if we can find our first opponent of the episode. Um, I had two incredible games yesterday. If you missed them, do go back. I'll link a card up here for you. You can check those out. And as always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please, shamelessly, remember to drop a like on the video. It does really help the channel out. Do subscribe as well because we have a bought ton of Pokemon content coming up with Sword and Shield um, and competitive stuff and uh, do as always leave your comments. We've got a first opponent so let's get into team preview. Okay so our first opponent today running a team of Drift, Blim, Tapu Lele, Groudon, Curum, White, Clefairy and Silla Valley. So uh, you gotta love these sort of teams don't you? you definitely gravity. Gravity bound. We're gonna see probably Scarfed Tapu Lele with the gravity hypnosis on that dang Drift Blim, and then you've got the Groudon and the Curum with their spread attacks. You've got support with the Clefairy as well, with the Follow Me redirection support, and God knows what the Silvali is doing. I have no idea. It can be any type, and I'd imagine it will be a random type, but it might be normal type as well. Um, if we can get a Trick Room up early on, that would be pretty huge for us, wouldn't it? Because I think my opponent's going to rely on Trick Room. The other thing is, I think what we want to try and do is... Um, utilize our Tapu Koko terrain because if we can do that then we're not prone to uh, getting um, getting put to sleep which would be bad uh, we'll go Suicune we'll go do we go Incineroar? Is Incineroar going to be good? Incineroar is decent I think we go Koko and we'll leave the rain we'll go Groudon Okay, so this is this is a funsy one for us to kick off with today. I never like playing these gravity. You know I don't like playing these gravity teams. They're always a pain to deal with. But I mean, at least we've got tools to kind of get around them. It would be nice to have wide guard. I think that would be the one thing that would uh, really make the whole matchup a lot better, especially with how um, reliant these kind of teams are on spread damage. Just being able to shut them down with wide guard makes it a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to see Silvalli. And uh, Tapu Lele. Okay. I've got a horrible feeling that we're going to see the Tapu Lele switch to Drip Flame. And then the Silvalli go boom. A big kaboom. Uh, but who knows? Um, well, I tell you what we will do. We'll match Tailwinds for sure. So we'll go for a Tailwind with Suicune. And um, we'll go for a U turn into the Lele. Then let's see what my opponent does. Nature's Madness. Oosh. Oosh. Uh, okay, that's going to take us down to 50% health. What's the Silvalli going to do? It's going to go for a Tailwind as well. Um, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, you know the Lele is locked into Nature's Madness now. Or likely is if it's if it's Scarfed, which it probably is. I imagine it is. Um, base speed, Silvalli. Silvalli is fast, man. Well, let's get rid of this Psychic Terrain as well. Let's bring Coco onto the field. Okay. Uh, I think we just pivot out with Coco, to be honest. We'll probably take. Well, we'll be able to tell if this this Lele is scoffed or not. Hmm. It's tricky though because um, <clears throat> do we go for a Scald? We could really get punished if the the Groudon comes in. That's the only problem. Whereas if we go from Suicune into Incineroar, and then we pivot out with Coco into into Lele, let's go for that. 
No, it's gonna be Groudon coming in. It's always, it's always Groudon. Consarn it. Okay. Right, well. Hmm. This is still Valley gonna protect. Maybe not. But we'll get a double intimidate onto it regardless, and we'll get an intimidate onto the Groudon, which is useful. We've got to watch out the next turn, of course, for the, the Lele coming back in and um, preventing our fake out. Yeah, blocked, and the Silvalli goes for a snarl. That's not the worst thing in the world at all, honestly. Um, Right, we'll fake out Grout. Oh, do we fake out Groudon? We just U turn it. Because this Savali got Protect. That's the thing. Like, if it's got Protect, we're screwed because we're going to go off for the double pivot there. Um, I would imagine Lele coming in. Okay, Groudon going to actually switch out. Which is fine. Because now we can get our Groudon onto the field. And we can get Coco back onto the field to overwrite the terrain once again. So there we go. Into the Silvalli. And after the snow, we're not really doing very much. Um hmm. Let's get Suicune out now because I'd I'd prefer to get Groudon in not damaged, and then we can switch Suicune out to Coco the next turn if we want to. Parting shot. Huh. Into Suicune. Okay. Right, right, right. Groudon coming back in. Yep. Okay, Groudon coming back out onto the field. Hmm. At least my opponent's speed control's not there. I think the thing that we've got to worry about this next turn is potentially a gravity from the Lele. Uh, and it might come down to a speed tie uh, between both Groudons. Imagine in this sort of team you run max speed Groudon, but it's probably jolly with like Precipice Blades rather than the special like we're running. Um, okay. Well, Tailwinds are going to pit her out now. We've got the opportunity to potentially go. Hmm, no, we haven't. We've got one turn of Tailwind left each. Okay, let's go for an Earth Part into the opposing Groudon. And let's go for a Snarl. Although, if we do that, we're in a lot of trouble because the thing is, if we don't take the opposing Groudon down, let's protect Groudon. Let's protect that Groudon and go for an Ice Beam into the opposing Groudon. Because if we lose our Groudon, we lose this match. Because we've got no way to deal with Groudon other than our Groudon. Which is never a great idea. Nature's Madness into Groudon. We're going to see probably Precipice Blades. Yep. Uh, but this Ice Beam definitely will put um, their Groudon in range from an Earth Power. But we don't survive it. How? How? Oh, man. That is not great. It's not ideal. Um, right, well. Let's get Coco in. Because we can pivot out onto the Lele. And then go for an Earth Power into the Groudon. And we've got to hope that we win a Speed Tie. Because I think that's what it's going to come down to now. But the Lele is likely to switch out. Okay, so we'll go Earth Part into the Groudon. We'll go Volt Switch into the Lele. We'll be able to get at least an Intimidate onto the opposing Groudon. That's the big thing for us here, I think, being able to take Precipice Blades. But that Groudon makes things a lot easier. And maybe if we win a Speed Tie as well, then we can just take it down. It might be a slow Groudon, who knows? Um, but we do get the Volt Switch. It's not Scarf Lele, which is super interesting. Um, I kind of thought it was, but it's not. Okay, we'll get Incineroar in. Hopefully, an Earth Power will be enough to get the Groudon. That's what we want. Get rid of this Groudon, our life becomes a lot easier. Lele goes Gravity. There we go. The Grav's coming out. Doesn't make any difference if we get this Earth Power off first, which we do. Does it kill? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Groudon! You are the better Groudon. <laughs> we, 
<laughs> we had no worries. We always knew. We always knew. We always knew. So, um, that is ideal for us. We're going to get this. Uh, okay, now the gravity is set up, which makes things a little bit more difficult for us, for sure. Um, but, we can go for a protect here with our ground on, and I think we'll just U-turn. Oh, could we knock off into the Lele? I think we'll knock off into the Lele. Um, I'm just going to, like, literally shut my door, because people have come back into the house, and it's getting pretty loud. Hey, I'm sorry about the disruption. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm back. Okay, explosion, wow. <laughs> What's going on? What did I miss? I can't believe this. Okay. Guard unprotected, Lele is gone, and Incineroar gone. Okay, so we've got a two versus one situation coming up. Which is fine, I don't mind this. Um, so Vale pulling out the, the big explosion. So I did have it. We were right to uh, think it did have it, but what's the last Pokemon? If it's this Curum, then we're <sighs> sitting, we're sitting pretty happy now, aren't we? Um, <clears throat> gravity is up. Could be scarfed, though, you know. Could be scarfed. We've got the Z move. Is it scarfed, Curum? Because the Lele wasn't scarfed. Let's just click eruption and let's click. The Ferium. And hopefully we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Blizzard, it is scarfed. Okay, but it's fine. Like, Coco should take this. <laughs> Takes us down to like 11 health. Curum's ridiculously broken. Uh, thank goodness we do survive. And we are going to be able to get this big, fat, juicy twinkle tackle off. Which I'm hoping is enough. got to hope. Like, Kurum is a bit of a monster. Look at it. It's like, got tubes coming out of his back. It's like something from the Matrix. But we take it down. Anyway, good game to my opponent and a great win for us to kick off with today. Against a team that I always feel like it's a little bit of a boggy team for me, uh, honestly. But we do manage to overcome it, which is ideal. So that's great news for us. So, um, one, one game down, one game to go, my friends. So, all to play for. And I really want to give this team a good send-off. We've got to bring the Ray in the next game. We've got to bring the Ray. Because we haven't featured it in like the last two games. So um, we've got to we've got to bring the Ray and the Groudon. And uh, make use of the combination. So we'll click in. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our next opponent. We've been pretty pr pretty lucky today, I think, with uh, getting our opponents up. So that's that's been a positive thing. Let's go for Trainer version 2, the music. Yeah, which probably no one picks because it's probably really trash, but I don't know. The original music, it's sometimes nice coming back to it, a little bit of nostalgia, you know, when we're saying goodbye to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon very soon. And also, for you guys that are in the UK at the minute, um, the game, game, the store, which uh, sells games, is doing the promotional um, event now for Shiny Sogaleo and Shiny Lunar. Pop into your store. I think it's running until the 15th of November. So go grab your cards so you can get those. Uh, hopefully I'll get mine this weekend. So next week maybe we can play a team outside of what we were planning on playing with those Shiny Pokemon. It'd be very cool. We've got a next opponent so let's hop straight into team preview. Okay, so our next opponent is running a team of Zekrom. We've got all the good stuff today. We've got Zekrom, Mandibuzz, uh, Murkrow, Gengar, Groudon, and Tapu Fini. So, uh, Tailwind, we've definitely got in abundance. We've got no Trick Room, though, so maybe that's an option we could go down. The Mega Gengar is going to be a bit awkward for us to deal with uh, because it can trap and do all sorts of shenanigans. Um, and maybe pff, Trick Room is not the best idea for us to go down because I don't know if we'll be able to get a Trick Room off against both a Murkrow and a Mandibuzz uh, that normally will carry Taunt. Um, okay, so Incineroar going to be extremely good here. Uh, it does really nice things against the Gengar. The Intimidate is so useful against the Zekrom and the Groudon. The Fake Out support as well is very useful. We'll go with Suicune. I did say we'd bring the Ray and I did say we'd bring Groudon, so I think that is going to be our core. Leaving Tapu Koko at home, which I don't really like, because Tapu Koko here would be amazing, but not bringing the electric terrain is pretty useful as well. 
because we don't want to be boosting that Zekrom up any further than what it already is. Zekrom's like a, a crazy powerful Pokemon and uh, given it any advantage. Do not want to do that. Do not want to do that. Okay, so we are challenged by Monsieur Pokemon Trina and they're throwing out a Murkrow and a Tapu Fini for us. It's like Cocoa Bait, isn't it? It's all the, all the Cocoa Bait, but we are going to match them with uh, a Suicune and our Incineroar. Okay. What are we going to see the Murkrow go for? I mean, we can't fake it out this turn and guarantee a Tailwind up, which might not be a bad thing for us, to be honest. Um, they're going to get a Tailwind as well, so we've got to be mindful, I think, of that. Um, we'll fake it out. And we'll go for a Tailwind. I'd imagine they'll match Tailwinds the next turn, but it does give us the opportunity to potentially go for an Ice Beam and just get rid of the Murkrow. Ooh, Gravity. Huh. Setting up this Groudon to come in. Okay. <laughs> Not so good. But it's alright, really. If Groudon comes in, we do have the switch to Ray that we can go for. Right. Um, hmm. <laughs> let's go for a U turn into the Mirko. And, like I say, let's go for an Ice Beam as well into that slot. Mirko Tailwinding. Okay. Now, what we want to try and do is get rid of this Mirko. So. Uh, Groudon does come in onto the field. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to get rid of it with these attacks, unfortunately. What's the in what's the Finny going to go for here? I mean, we can go for. Um, mm, do we bring in Ray just yet? I don't want to take an icy wind. That's the only thing. Let's bring in Groudon because we've got Groudon. We can eruption potentially do some nice damage this next turn to both targets. Let's see where this Finny's going with an attack. Hmm. Finny, 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 what are you going to do? Okay, I see when, yeah, so it was a better idea not to bring in the Ray there, to be honest. Okay, that's fine. We've got like 100% accurate, like, Precipice Blades though now, which is quite a nice thing to have access to, honestly, because the Mercroy is grounded. Um, okay, we'll go for a Precipice Blades, and we're probably better off switching in. Um, no, we'll keep, we'll go for a Snarl, we'll go for a Snarl. Might say a Quash here. Okay, Mecha, we're going to protect. It's strange, though, that my opponent's, like, setting up this board position, um... Where they're not letting the Mirko go down to get their Groudon in with the Tailwind up. Like, I don't mind them not switching. They're not really causing us too many issues here. We're going to get a free Precipice Blades off and a Snarl as well. Um, oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no! I'm gonna see uh, Groudon hit the field. That's that's a nice tech. That is a really nice tech, you know? That's smart. I like that. <sighs> right, well. Groudon. I still think, though, we've got Ray to come in and we can scold uh, the opposing Groudon to get rid of it. And it will pick up probably quite a cheeky little knock knockout here. I've got to be mindful, I think, that the Rayquaza could come onto the field for sure, but I'm more inclined to bring Ray back onto the field now that the uh, the Finny's not around to throw out some super effective Ice-type attacks, uh, but we'll go for this. I guess the double up would be the only problem, but I think my opponent probably... Hmm, I don't know what they're going to do with the Murkrow. Foul play and a Precipice wouldn't be great for Rayquaza, honestly. All that. I think Suicune will take a plus two. I don't know about Rayquaza though. Oh, God. Damn it. <laughs> Ray is gone and we can't scold. Oh. <laughs> what is happening? Swagger Mercro. Oh man. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, Janet. 
Oh, we're knackered now. We are well and truly knackered. Uh, we'll bring in Incineroar. We can get another Tailwind up. Oh, man. This is brutal. I think what we'll do, rather than get a Tailwind up now, I think we will go for an Ice Beam into the Murkrow. Because if we can stop the, my opponent from Tailwinding, that, that helps us out a lot. Especially if the Groudon's not max speed on my opponent's end of the field. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I don't know what to say about that. I'm pretty much in awe. I'm like, this is, this is a really cool team. <laughs> Did not expect the. Uh, okay, well, my opponent's making all the right plays, to be honest, like protecting that Mercro to get their Tailwind up the next turn. Um, which is probably what we would have been better doing. Because um, now. Now the gravity turns to normal. Okay. So Precipice Blades can miss. So we've got that in our favor. I guess that's, that's all we've got. Um. I'm going to U-turn out onto the Murkrow. I'm going to Tailwind as well. Oh, I just didn't see the Swagger coming. Didn't see the Swagger. We've got to hope that we can get our Tailwind up though. Suicune's like minus two speed as well. So we'll take a Precipice Blade. We, like, we need a Precipice Blades to miss. That's kind of what we need to happen. Which it doesn't do. And plus one is going to take down everything. Yeah. Ah, we've been bopped, royally bopped, and I ground on to come back in, but Precipice Blades could miss. I'm not going to say anything right now, it's not over till it's over, but Precipice Blades could miss, and an Earth Power from ourselves could take down this Groudon. So, we'll go for it, and if we get it, we've still got like three Pokemon to deal with. It's not going to be easy, but if one of them is Zekrom, then we might be able to do this. You never know. Let's see. What's my opponent going to do? They're going to click the Precipice Blades button, right? You've got to, you've just got to click it if that's your only means to, uh, and the gravity's not up. It's a little bit risky, but let's see. I wonder if it's crossing their mind now, they're like, mm, should we Precipice or should we protect and get Finny in so we can Gravity Precipice the next turn? Maybe that would be better. Yeah, okay, Groudon I'm going to switch out. They're going to save it for later on. Okay, Zekrom I'm going to hit the field. I wonder if we're going to see a foul play from the Murkrow. Okay, Murkrow going to protect. Okay, they're not wanting to risk. They're not wanting to risk this. The the the, the low accuracy. Okay, we well, we get rid of the Zekrom. Okay, and imagine we'll see Finny come back onto the field now. We know it's not going to bury. So if it goes for a gravity, then we can stall out the the tailwind turn. So we might be able to do this. Maybe. Okay. Well, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Oh, it's going to be close. If we see it go gravity, and then our Precipice Blades will pick up the knockout onto the Murkrow finally. Um, and then we've just got to stall out the Tailwind, which will be one more turn after this. And then we can Earth Power the Groudon and hope that we are faster than it out of Tailwind and that we can pick up a knockout with Earth Power, which we may be able to do. Who knows? Let's see. I think though, if I'm my opponent, I would have just risked going for the Precipice Blades there. I wouldn't have really cared about uh, missing. I'm going to see a Quash come out. That's fine. As long as we see Gravity, that's what we need. There we go. Right. Well, this is alright. So this still could go in our favour. Especially if we get a high damage roll onto the Finny and pick up the knockout there. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe we're still in this game. Like, how? How are we in this game still? <laughs> if we win, this would be a great way for us to send off this team. Okay, so. Groudon going to come back in. Uh, the gravity is up. So, we need to stall out this last turn of Tailwind. And we need to hope that we are faster than the Groudon. I think the next 
turn though is going to be a tricky one because I think you protect now and I would be okay swagger 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 okay the Tapu Fini surviving makes things a bit awkward for us right now if I'm my opponent I think honestly that you protect your Groudon and you got Icy Wind here. And I'm gonna Precipice Blades and hope that we see that Groudon protect. Yes, come on, come on. Yeah, they're trying, they're trying it. They're pushing their luck. Okay, well, gravity's up, so we definitely hit this Finny. Groudon is just net. Groudon's on the, on the cusp of four on warning my opponent. Okay, so it comes down to this. Can our Earth Power pick up the knockout? Can our Groudon outspeed? And is it going to be enough? Let's click this Earth Power button, my friends. Come on, Groudon. We're faster. Come on, pick up the knockout. Yes, come on, Groudon. You beaut crit as well. Yes. <laughs> Oh man, that is just insane. That is insane. <laughs> I can't believe that match. I literally can't believe it. Anyone that doesn't watch this match is missing out. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I don't know even the care of the crit was made a difference. All I care about is Groudon came onto the field and it was like, bro, what have you? What is going on in this match? There's four Pokemon. And there's, there's me. I'm going to have like three buddies to, to help me get through this match. Don't worry. I'll deal with it. And he stepped in, stepped up and did it all. I still think, I don't know why my opponent switched out. Risking that fifth, that precipice blades on that turn would have been way better than the way that they kind of backtracked and got themselves into that hole. But anyway, my friends, thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to end up with a perfect end to the episode today with this team it's been great playing the uh, radon team i hope you've enjoyed it let me know your comments section in the section below to let me know what your thoughts are on today's uh, episode it's been crazy i think the last two episodes have been great with this team so uh, i hope you have enjoyed them we'll be back next week on monday with a brand new team so i will see you all then have a great weekend whatever you're up to and uh, until then my friends take care and bye bye